Welcome to Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's Tech Support Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and enable encryption at rest on DSM-7 for Synology's Backup for Business. On Tuesdays, I release Tech Support Tuesday videos like this one here. And on Fridays, I release more technical videos for mega nerds just like me. All right, so I'm logged into my NAS here. And if I open up Active Backup for Business, I'm going to go ahead and set up a new backup for virtual machines. So I'm going to click on virtual machine and see over here on the task list. I don't have anything yet. So I'm going to go to create Hyper-V task, select this guy here, select that one VM. Now the folder for active backup for business, see here it shows uh, compression and encryption. Uh, the answer is no, it's unavailable. Now the reason for this is because in DSM-7, this is a new feature to be able to encrypt your data at rest. And previously, I was running a DSM-6 and it was not available. Now I spoke with Synology and they said that even though you would think that you could just enable encryption directly on that particular share, as it is a SMB share, uh, they said that that actually will not fix this issue. So how do we fix it? Let me show you. Close that out, go to Control Panel, Shared Folder, I'm just going to create a new shared folder and I'll just call it backup for business encrypted. I'm going to uncheck the recycle bin, hit next. Now you would think that you'd want to click encrypt the folder, but again, Synology's uh, support actually says do not do this as it can mess things up pretty bad. So we leave it unencrypted, hit next. And they also said to leave the enable data checksum for advanced data integrity unchecked as well. Can I hit next again? Next again. And here you would go ahead and configure uh, user permissions. We'll just hit apply. And so now we have this new share. So if we come back over to Active Backup for Business and create a new task, select the server, select the VM, hit next. Now you can see the share here that we just created is available for both compression and encryption. So we will hit next. When I talked to Synology support about enabling compression on this particular share, uh, they advised not to because it does have deduplication. So I'm going to leave that unchecked. So now to enable the encryption, we will just click this checkbox for the enable encryption at backup destination and type in the password that we want to give it for encrypting. And we'll hit next. Now here are some additional features that if you want to enable them, uh, application aware backup is good. So if you are running any applications that are supported on any of the VMs, or basically it's using uh, shadow copy to go ahead and back up the VM as it is still running. If the source VM host has enough horsepower and you are limited to one gig for your network connectivity, then check the box for enable data transfer compression, which can help speed that up. I'm going to go ahead and check this box as well for the encryption in transit. And if you want to enable these other features, you can as well. We're just going to hit next and next again. I'm going to just do a manual backup. I'll hit next. And we'll just keep like three versions of this guy. Next. Who can restore the VM and then hit done. So here the encryption key is going to be downloaded. Don't lose it or you're kind of screwed. So now it's going to download this key. So keep that somewhere safe. And we will tell it to back up now. Under this task list, you can see that the encryption is enabled. And you can see right now it is also backing up the VM. I hope you found this useful and I'll catch you in the next one.